I wanted to ask you really quickly about subtext because it's something yeah. that's also another virus that goes throughout screenplays, writing on the nose and so on. Any insights you have on how you write uh, subtext? No, I don't think if you're thinking about writing a subtext, then you're probably doing it wrong. Um, okay. I said like subtext should be just it's all the unspoken things that are happening between two characters or the feeling that you're trying to communicate um, without actually saying those words. Um, if you're worried that writing is too on the nose and that people are sort of speaking their subtext, maybe you're right, but maybe you're also just being too hard on yourself. Maybe just I would say take a break listen to have some actual people talk in the world around you and you realize that um, subtext is always happening there. There's always some shading um, being given on any things that people are saying in the real world. Um, movie dialogue is a slightly optimized version of real speech. It's sort of, mm -hmm. I was thinking about it, it's like a movie dialogue is what people would say if they had an extra 10 or 15 seconds between the, the ball being hit back. It's like they just hit it back a little bit better than they <laughs> otherwise normally would. Right. And we forgive them of that. It's when they things feel so crafted that then it becomes kind of arch and either it's great and you're, you're Aaron Sorkin or it feels really, really right. forced. And so it really is a, a genre expectation.